is about 13 minutes before my scheduled phone interview. Um, it's at 10.15, it's 10.02, oh, 10.03. And I'm so nervous, I'm so excited. But um, I applied for the Disney College program on um, Monday, September 11th. And then like 20, 30 minutes later, I got an email saying that I was um, selected for a phone interview. So I scheduled that for today. It is Monday, September 18th. Um, it's at 10.15 and I'm so freaking excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. Um, I have a paper with like questions and stuff um, that I think they're gonna ask me. I watched a bunch of different phone interviews from other people and I just kind of took notes on what people have said and like the questions that the, the recruiters have asked. And then I have name at the top because I need to write their names once they um, answer so I don't forget it. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm also like freaking out, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait now. I'm just gonna wait. Oh my goodness. Okay. They can call anywhere, um, even though my schedule time is 10, 15. Um, they can call at any time between 15 minutes before and, you know, 15 minutes after, I think. So um, I've been waiting since since before 10 because I've been so nervous. I've been sitting in this spot since like 9.40 or 9.50 and then um, at officially 10 o'clock is when it really set in that they're gonna call any minute between 10, 10.15 and, and so, and then after that. So I'm so nervous and yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, I was not this nervous up until this moment. I've been so excited for this and now and now I'm like freaking out. So we're gonna we're gonna sit and wait. Okay. okay. I need I need some music or something to keep me going. I'm so freaking scared. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Hello. Hi. This is Catherine from the Disney College Program. Is Asia available? Yes. This is she. Hi, Asia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm calling for your telephone interview, so I want to make sure this is still a good time and that you're in a safe space, not currently driving. Yes, this is perfect. Okay, great. Well, we're going to spend around 20 minutes or so together today. We'll go over your application, talk about your work experience, and discuss some of the roles you could be doing on your college program, excuse me. And then if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer those at the end of the interview. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, a couple of quick and easy questions to get us started. I have that you have never worked for the Walt Disney Company previously, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right. Are you currently an international student studying in the U.S. on a visa? No. Okay. And some of our roles require a driver's license. Do you have a valid U.S. driver's license? Yes, I do. Great. Okay. And to make sure we're on the same page, this is for the spring 2024 program lasting four to seven months with arrival dates between January 8th through April 1st of 2024. Is this the program you're looking for? Yep. Okay, great. All right, I have that you are studying at the University of Akron and that you are a freshman this year, is that correct? Yeah, um, I am a freshman, but I do have um, a, quite a bit of college credits, so um, I don't really feel like a freshman, but yes. Gotcha. Did you do dual enrollment in high school? Yeah, so the high school I went to was at the University of Akron. It was like an early college program, so I spent my four years of high school getting my associate's degree and then continuing at the University of Akron. Fantastic. I've, I have um, community college experience in my background, so I completely understand that scenario. So yeah. good for you. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, tell me a little bit about why you decided to apply to the Disney College program. Um, so, well, my family and I, we all love Disney so much, but I've only actually ever been to Disney World once, um, and that was just this past year, 2022, um, okay. but I do love it so much there, and I learned about the Disney College program in middle school, and just ever since then, I've decided this is something that I wanted to do, um, mm -hmm. and so 
I think now that I'm in college would be the perfect time. Yeah, absolutely. It, I'm an alumni, so I can I can vouch for it and yes. say that it is a really great experience. So I'm, I'm glad that you uh, are also interested because it is a fantastic opportunity. Mm-hmm. Well, as a reminder, if you're extended an offer, it will be to participate in the Disney College program, and then your role would be disclosed closer to your arrival date. We take the preferences you indicated on your application and the roles we discussed today into consideration, mm-hmm. but we make no guarantees. You could be placed anywhere we have college program participants working, even if we don't get to talk about a specific role today. Are you comfortable with that? Yep, absolutely. Great. Awesome. All right, well, let's get into it. I was looking over, um, you've got lots of great interest, which we love to see. Thank you. And um, one uh, yes stood out to me that I just wanted to touch on um, first. I saw a yes for character performer. So I just wanted to make sure um, you were aware in order to be considered for a character performer role, uh, you will have to uh, attend an audition in person. So have you had a chance to see those cities or that information online yet? Yeah, I did look at it, but um, I was still kind of thinking about whether or not that was something I wanted to do this time around. Um, I've been... Um, performing since like elementary school I used to do ballet and then I went to performing arts middle school and I did some performing arts stuff and um, art stuff in high school but I just I'm not sure if that's something that I'm thinking about this time around but it is something I'm always thinking about so okay great well yeah um since you've already seen it on disneyauditions.com there's a list of the five cities that our team is traveling to this season and they will be headed out between October 9th through 15th so if you do have interest and it works out to be convenient um, you can sign up for an audition spot in the city of your choice um, and expenses incurred would then be your responsibility Mm -hmm. Um, so in order to be considered like I said you'd have to attend one of those but if for some reason you can't attend an audition that's certainly fine Uh, we just can't consider you for the character performer role but you'll still be considered for all other roles on the college program okay so any any questions there um no i don't know okay Okay. very good just like i said i always like to cover that extra step just in case right um so you can make plans accordingly if needed um but otherwise it looks like i was looking over your background and you got um are you currently at one of a kind pet rescue volunteering um i haven't volunteered recently but that is something i started doing this year um Basically, we just go in and we walk the dogs or we play with them in the back and then we sit in the room with um, the cats have like a bunch of different rooms and you just kind of um, clean the rooms that they're in or feed them or play with them. Oh, that's that's wonderful. I'm glad to hear you do that. I have a soft spot for animals, so. Yes, me too. (laughs) I imagine it's very rewarding to do that. Yes. Um, Yeah, how nice. Awesome. Well, in thinking of that role or truly any role in your background, any uh, experience you've had, one of the big uh, keys at Disney is um, safety and its priority uh, across our resort. Um, So in the past, when you've worked at a location, how did you make safety a priority there? Yes, so um, I used to work in food. I worked at a subway and Mm -hmm. It was very important to be safe there just because not only were we handling food and giving it out to people, but we also worked with um, cleaning chemicals. So um, when working with food, you have to make sure you know your hands are clean, you have your gloves on, you're not cross-contaminating. Um, and then we have like our sharp objects, our um, vegetable cutters, our knives, and we just have to be careful with those. Our ovens, they're hot. So. Um, that's something we really have to work on is being safe with our, um, our objects that we work with. And then even now I work at, um, right now I'm working at Target. Yeah. And we have a lot of things like we get up high on ladders and we practice, um, different type of positions that we have to stand on the ladder. Like, you know, at least three of your four contact points on the ladder, always facing the front and, um, Things like that. Yeah, fantastic. That's great. That's great. Um, I didn't realize, I mean, with a Target, that they would have such safety protocols on ladders, but I shouldn't have expected anything different. <laughs> That's great. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's 
see. Uh, and you already mentioned um, some food handling. So um, would you be comfortable in an environment where you might be in a production kitchen, uh, cooking food such as peanut brittle or candy apples if you were given proper training? Oh, absolutely. That sounds so fun. Okay, very good. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of fun opportunities um, within uh, food offerings. That's one of our guests' favorite things to do. I know it's one of my favorite things to do yeah. at Disney is enjoy the snacks. <laughs> and let's see. So um, knowing you've mentioned Target and Subway, um, of course, some of our roles um, at Disney also uh, include working on a point-of-sale system, handling cash, credit cards, and magic bands. Is that something you feel comfortable doing with training? Yes, I've done a lot of that um, already with working at both Subway and Target, so I think okay, I'm pretty great. good with that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, let's see. Um, let's say one of our popular attractions breaks down during the day and a guest approaches you to complain about it. How would you respond? Um, I think I would, you know, tell them I understand their frustration. Um, you come here, you know, you want to do this and that, and sometimes that doesn't always happen. Um, and I would, you know, say, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, I'll be sure to make note of that and let people know. And, you know, if that doesn't keep them happy, I might have to, um, call over a leader and say, I can get this person to talk to you, um, if I wasn't any help at all. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, you can't always be the best help and you sometimes do have to get another person in there with you sure absolutely absolutely all right hopping over to another role i saw yes was um our recreation attractions and watercraft so um tell me are you i'm assuming you're comfortable around water yeah Okay, great. So, um, do you have any experience piloting a boat or with proper training? Would you be comfortable in command of a boat with guests aboard? I believe I would be um, comfortable with training. I have not yet um, handled a boat at all, but I think with training, um, that'd be something I could do. Okay, great. Um, tell me why you are interested in the PhotoPass photographer role. Yeah, so um, that was actually one of my top ones was PhotoPass. And okay. um, I just think it'd be, it's really fun to be able to um, have these little moments with all these different people and different families and help them create um, a moment that they can have for forever and always look back on. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about your experience using uh, cameras and what types you've used. Um, I actually don't have any photography experience. Um, but I think that it's, it's so, it's something fun for me to be able to learn. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, not only, you know, the equipment with PhotoPass, but a lot of our attractions and just overall, um, operations are system based. So tell me about your most recent experience learning a new technology or program. Um, so whenever I started at Target, the job that I do is fulfillment. So I basically pick orders for people and prep them and pack them to be shipped to their house or for them to pick up to the stores from the stores. Um, so we, I had to learn all about the system to pick it. I had to learn how to get into the device and get into the system and how to find these people's orders, um, where to scan them, what the numbers mean and everything. So it's, it's a, a big um, system process that I had to learn. Um, and that was... Yeah. Um, just a little under a year ago. Great. And so has it become easier over time, you feel? Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm okay. so great at it now. But before, it was definitely <laughs> definitely a challenge. <laughs> yeah, there's always a learning curve involved. I completely understand. Absolutely. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about uh, helping out some of our character friends. Um, let's see, uh, how would you tell a guest that Mickey's line was about to close and that they weren't going to be able to see Mickey, uh, right then? How would you handle that? Um, I would, you know, I would say Mickey has to go away for a while, whether it's to, you know, go visit Minnie or check on Pluto, um, and he'll either be back, I don't know, you know, it could be if it were a short break, because I know they have the different um, shifts, or if it was just closing for the day. Um, you could say, oh, you know, he'll be back another time, but there's always this character that you can go visit. I know that they're, they're waiting for people to come and see them. Yeah, 
Sure, absolutely. They're, they're all busy characters, so there's lots of storytelling involved. Yes. <laughs> sharing about um, and, and kind of moving folks over from one to another. So yeah. thank you. That's great. Yeah. Um, let's see. You mentioned getting to visit um, the, the parks. And did you get to visit our resorts as well last year when you made your trip? No, I did not. But I, that's always something I want to do um, is visit the resorts. Sure. Yeah. So if you were staying at a Disney resort as a guest, what would some of your expectations be? Um, I just think, um, clean, you know, clean rooms, friendly staff. Um, I don't know. I just feel like something you would find anywhere, but also with that touch of Disney magic. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's so many great, uh, resorts and, and unique, uh, experiences there um you really can be transported to even though you're you're in florida for all of them uh you can really be taken away outside of those so those, yes. are, those are some fun experiences for sure so out of all of your work and volunteer experiences you've had what's been your favorite responsibility um i think my favorite i really like working with kids so i've done two different ones um working with mainly with kids the first one that i've done um, is like an after school program. I don't think I put this on my um, application, but it's a, it was an after school program and I would basically work with first graders. It was like kindergarten through fifth grade, but I focused on first graders and they would come in and we would make their snack and do an arts and craft and then take them to the gym and do um, a game in the gym and then go sit in a room and hear stories and stuff. And I really liked doing that. And then Another thing that I've done, I only do it once a year because it's a Halloween thing, but it's with the um, Access Women's Shelter. And um, I basically, I go and I set up games for their Halloween party that they have. And I play games with the kids and hand out prizes and stuff. And I love doing that. I think that's really fun. Yeah, absolutely. I did see that. Um, I was, it hit, especially because of the time we're in with Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that sounds really fun. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. All right. Well, um, when you visited, was there um, a particular park or land that sparked the most joy for you at Walt Disney World? Um, well, it's, it's hard to say because Magic Kingdom is, you know, it's Magic Kingdom. It's so, everything's happening. It's so great. But also, I believe that my personal favorite was Epcot. Yeah. It's, it's very much an experience. Magic Kingdom does feel like home, but Epcot, sometimes you just can't beat that ambiance. Yeah, and there and there's so much at Epcot with the, the different um, countries and stuff. I just think it's so amazing there. I know. I agree. I agree. I, uh, I'm always looking forward to my next time. <laughs> yes. I don't know exactly when that will be. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to dream. <laughs> so when you think about being on... Um, a Disney college program, um, what do you see yourself doing? Do you have like a top one or two roles that just have really um, aligned with maybe your career aspirations or development? Um, well, right now I'm majoring in psychology and with that, I plan on either doing something with children like childhood, um, early childhood development psychology or um, psychology where they basically take um, like job satisfaction. Um, but with either one, really, I think with the childhood development one, I think any, um, any role really works so well with it because you're going to be, well, for most roles, I know there are some roles where you're more in the background rather than, um, you know, out with everybody, but, um, for majority of them, you're always going to be surrounded by people and children. I think my top role for that one would be children's activities. Mm -hmm. Just, I know you work. Um, work at the resorts with, with the kids and planning things and pool parties and movie nights and things like that. Um, but also, I also just like the idea of working merchandise, um, working in the store and being being there when people come and just, you know, helping them when they want to get something and you're like, oh, um, you see them getting this and it's just fun to hear all their different stories and um, where they're from and things like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. There's some great opportunities um, in both of those to really, but uh, yeah, I feel like merchandise, especially um, just having that, 
interaction with with so many guests yes. um, at a time is is kind of invaluable um, and helping them maybe find something special to remember um, that trip of a lifetime yes. or um, mm-hmm. you know all of those moments it's super exciting yeah very good well thank you for sharing that one other thing I like to always um, just touch on is that um, some of our former participants are surprised by the amount of time that they're standing and walking in their roles, as well as by the heat to which they're exposed to in Florida. So we just like to um, share that we can't guarantee an indoor or outdoor location. We would just want you to be aware you could be working in any environment with the potential to stand or walk for long periods of time. Are you comfortable with that? Absolutely. I do that um, now with my job with fulfillment because I'm picking orders. Yeah. I'm pulling around a big cart and walking all all day. So it's definitely something I'm used awesome. to. Yep, I know. I, whenever I see um, retail on a on a application, I know that you guys pretty have have a very good understanding of how <laughs> yeah. it works. Yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, we've gotten to talk about many roles today. And as I mentioned earlier, if you are extended an offer, it will be to participate in the program. And then your role would be disclosed closer to your arrival date. Um, So based on uh, roles we've discussed and descriptions of the roles on the Disney College Program website, are you able to perform the essential functions of those roles with or without a reasonable accommodation? Absolutely. I think um, the one that I would say... I'm a bit um, iffy about, not too sure about, would be um, lifeguard just because I, I am able to swim and I think in a very dire situation I would be able to help somebody, but I don't know if that's something I'm absolutely strong with. Sure. I appreciate you sharing that. Absolutely. I have made a note and I saw your no as well, so um, I don't think if you were extended an offer that would be okay. um, there. And if you were put, let's say, uh, if you were given an offer and somehow you magically got, uh, you know, children's activities that might be near water, mm-hmm. even beyond uh, that specific, um, those roles are typically right next to and have their own lifeguards in the area. So yes. they would be handling that, and then you would be um, maybe around water if you're comfortable with that. But, yes. yeah, you'd have lifeguards with you, so no problem. Thank you for okay. sharing that. Perfect. That's great. Um, all right. Well, Asia, that's all the questions I have for you, so I can go ahead and tell you what happens from here. Okay. Uh, decisions are made continuously throughout the season, uh, but you'll likely hear back from us within the next two weeks. Um, And as I shared earlier, if extended an offer, it will be to participate on the program. And if you uh, do receive uh, an extended offer, you would have seven days to complete that offer process. And then if you move forward and complete the offer process, you find out your role about four weeks prior to your arrival. So keep a close eye on that applicant dashboard for the most direct communication. Um, They'll send out email as well, but sometimes those jump into spam uh, by mistake. (laughs) So Mm -hmm. I always like to um, share that the applicant dashboard is your best bet for refreshing to see things first. So with all of that being said, do you have any questions about the program or for me? I just have um, just two. Okay. Um, my first one is with um, parking at Flamingo Crossing. Um, mm-hmm. I know you have to pay for it, but I wasn't sure, or if you would know, if it's it, um, oh, like a one-time payment thing, or is it like multiple um, payment installments? Yep, I can give you some details on that. So parking details... Deca- Excuse me, parking decals are $200 for participants who choose to bring a vehicle to Flamingo Crossings Village. So that's just a one-time fee for the length of your program. Okay. And that would be covered in um, the offer details if you're extended an offer as well. So they let you know about purchasing that parking decal if interested. Um, and then if you are extended an offer and on are on a program and you decide to extend your program, um, you can renew that decal. And I believe it's an additional uh, $100 if you were to extend um, to keep your car and, and keep that uh, parking decal up to date. But 200 for the entire um, season that you're there, okay. if you will, for your program. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And then my second question um, is, what is some advice you would give somebody who's joining the DCP for the first time? Yeah, good question. Um, I think it's really, um, the program is, you take out of the program what you make of it. So mm-hmm. I would just encourage anybody to make the most of their program um, and really 
plug into all three elements, um, not only the earning, um, but the learning and the living. Um, there's fantastic opportunities to socialize and just expand your network um, with folks from all across the globe, truly, that you know may have similar interests to you or maybe even different interests that just um, are interesting and, and inspiring to you. So I would definitely plug into that uh, living. And then um, the learning component, there's so many um, educational components that are offered in class uh, offerings, also like specific um, visits. So if there's a operation, attraction, show, I mean, you name it, they mm -hmm. offer very specialized opportunities to kind of deep dive onto those if that's um, your interest or even just um, going to the networking events that they offer and um, put together and really exploring other opportunities with the company and just in general getting to know uh, lots of people because even in or out of Disney, networking always seems to pay off and it's mm -hmm. just really great to expand um, having that network under your belt. So yeah, I think my biggest piece of advice is to really plug into all three components and truly make the most of your time. I mean, there's a lot to to be done just in visiting the parks and, and resorts and working at the parks and resorts, but making sure to um, take advantage of those unique opportunities that are only part of the program. Um, I think that's been the, mo the biggest regret that I hear of um, participants that maybe get down and maybe get sidelined with, you know, just, just working and mm -hmm. playing and, and all of that. I think if you can really keep it balanced and, and take advantage of all, all the offerings, um, you'll definitely come out even further ahead than just doing the program in general. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Any other questions? Nope. That is it. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Asia, for spending some time with me today. And we really appreciate your interest in the Disney College program. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a magical day. Thanks, you too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. How did I think that went? I think it went great. Um, I do think I'm a bit awkward. Um, so, is that, like, was that good enough to get accepted? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, oh my gosh, I hope they get back to me in a week instead of two weeks. I know a lot of people who were like, I heard back from them in a week. I hope it's a week because I can't wait two weeks. It'll kill me. Okay, she called at 1010 and it went on for 24 minutes. So from 1010 to 10, it's 1036 now, but you know, so that was that. And um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see if I got accepted. This was my phone interview and yeah. Um, I'm like shaking, I'm like coming down from the experience. But I'm good now, I'm good, and um, we'll see how that went, so yeah.